This must be what absolute captivation feels like. Whoa. I'm Shun Kanzaki, and I'd just become a junior in high school. And when I saw this girl on the street, I couldn't tear my eyes away. That glossy silver hair, that beautiful expression. We looked like we were about the same age, but, well, anyway. She was so beautiful, it could make someone stop and stare. And as proof, it wasn't just me. Plenty of other people were doing double takes as she walked by. Oh, oh my god. My heart had never pounded like this before. Could this be true love? It was like my heart was bursting from my chest and my face felt hot. I'd heard about love at first sight, but I didn't ever truly believe it until I saw this girl's overwhelming beauty. I have to say something, or I'll regret it forever. She was a perfect stranger. If I just let her walk away now, maybe even this love would disappear like a fleeting dream. I had to chase after her, or I might never be happy again. Excuse me? Can I help you? The girl of my dreams eyed me with a puzzled expression, and as I saw her up close, her beauty only grew more dazzling. But I had no idea what I'm supposed to say next. I don't have any experience with asking someone out. I barely even talk to girls. Um, can I help you? But it would all be for nothing if I just kept standing around and gaping. Uh, would you like to get something to eat with me? I really want to get closer to you. That's what I ended up going with. I discovered a newfound respect for people who are actually good at this, but in the end... Sorry. Huh? I don't want to just go out together with some random guy on the street. And with that, the paragon of beauty turned and quickly scurried away. I was petrified. The gazes of everyone around me pierced me like daggers, but she looked at me with such cold eyes. The way she looked at me before she left dug in deepest of all. Yeah, because you were creepy. So declared my stepsister. This adorable cutie's name was Kana Kanzaki. She's a year younger than me and became my sister when our parents married each other. But after knowing her for so long, I was used to being around her. Was it really that creepy? Sorry to burst your bubble, but I've got secondhand goosebumps just from hearing that story. I don't think she was sorry at all. Seriously? But what else was I supposed to do? That could have been my only chance. And you blew it. You don't get it at all, do you, my dear brother? It's not about what you did. It's about what you said and the person saying it. Uh-oh, I felt a sermon coming on. You can't just ask a stranger out to a meal, okay? That just proves how stuck in the past you are, not to mention just inexperienced in general. The first thing you have to fix is that I have zero idea what I'm doing aura that you give off. Yes, ma'am. I mean, you don't have any idea what you're doing, but that can be worked around. Please teach me. I don't know what to do. Oh, well, I guess I have no choice but to offer my poor big brother a hand. Okay. Kana was so naturally beautiful that it was plain to see we weren't blood-related. At school, she seemed pretty popular, too. I was thankful I had her around to give me sisterly advice. By the way, oh great teacher, do you have a lot of experience with dating yourself? Nope. Oh. The next day, after that fateful and disastrous meeting... Woohoo! Let the date begin! I somehow ended up on a date with my non-blood-related sister. Because according to her, the first thing I needed to learn was exactly what it felt like to be out in public with a woman. I didn't really get it, but my teacher gave me no reason to doubt her, and it was a weekend, so we set forth out on the town. All right, Kana, what should we do? Tsk, tsk, tsk. Is that any way to refer to your partner on a date? Huh? I don't know if I feel comfortable calling you anything else. It's fine. We're not even technically related. If we wanted to, we could get married or even... That's a word I never wanted to hear from someone like her. Call me a nickname or something. This is dating practice, after all. Uh, right. You're absolutely right. I need to practice. You may be completely flat and unappealing to me as a woman, but I need to pretend for the sake of my future. What did you just call me? Take this seriously, okay? Sheesh. This is why people don't like you, you know. Huh? I don't know anyone who hates me, though. But I was met with a cold gaze. Okay, so with that being said, go ahead and take the lead, Junie. All right then, uh, Khan? Calling my sister a nickname. She might have been my stepsister, 
but it just felt wrong after all the time we'd spent together. So, what are we buying anyway? Huh? Nothing. Then why did we go to the mall in the first place? It felt pointless. So, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to make sure I enjoy myself without any specific objective in mind. Understood. I see. So this was my assignment. <laughs> Starting me with the training wheels off, huh? Huh? But this is tricycle level. Would I really be able to carry out such a monumental task? I was beginning to get nervous. I may be your stepsister, but getting a peek at just how bad my own brother is with girls is actually scaring me. Oh, I want that cute mug. She was pointing at the mug in the window of a souvenir shop. As her brother, I would have bought it for her anyway. But this is a date. I have to make the right choice that will make my partner love me more. I think I'll get the matching one then. This is the first date. You're being creepy again. Oh, Rika, hi. After going around the mall and pointing out all my numerous mistakes, Kana suddenly ran up to a lone figure. She must have found someone she knew. Hey, she's just gonna abandon her date for a friend? Well, since it was Kana, it wasn't really a big... Hmm? Huh? Aren't you... Oh, do you two know each other, Shuni? Kill me now. The person Kana ran up to was none other than the beautiful girl from the day before. You're the guy who asked me out yesterday, aren't you? Whoa. Oh, Shuni, the girl you asked out was Rika? Uh, I guess so. How'd I end up face to face with the person I tried to pick up in the first place? I was really happy to see the girl I'd fallen in love at first sight with again, but I felt so uncomfortable. Oh dear, you just keep making mistake after mistake, don't you? But I was really trying to be serious. With her? Please. Rika stands alone as a beautiful flower. She's out of the people in my league's league. And you asked to get a meal with her? Please. Does a superstar waste her time dining with a baby chick? Of course not. Hey, at least let me be a person in this comparison. Does a queen go out to eat with a water flea? Now I'm not even an animal visible to the naked eye. So, Kana, why are you with this superficial guy? And this is not making it better. It's strange, though. Even though she clearly hates me, I was still glad she remembered me at all. Huh? We're on a date, silly. What? Hey... Your friend is staring daggers at us. I'm not even the target here, and I'm getting shivers down the back of my spine. It was strange. I knew what I did yesterday was shallow, but it felt like she was staring at me with even more judgmental eyes this time. I hadn't even done anything since we met, right? What's your name? Uh, Shun. Well then, Shun, why don't we go out sometime? Seriously? I thought she was angry at me. But I guess I completely misjudged the situation. Was the person I liked really asking me out? Was this the effect of one practice date? I'd like to explain to you myself just how wrong it is for you to stick your disgusting fangs into an important friend of mine the day after trying to pick up someone else. That wasn't the effect I had in mind. No, I wasn't trying to stick my fangs in anyone. This is m Oh, yeah, let me introduce you. This is my friend from my sports team, Rika Kasuno. Don't interrupt me in the middle of my explanation! Although, I did want to know that. There's nothing to explain. Shuni and I are in a relationship where we can... You really are a pig. Huh? Uh, why'd you have to phrase that in a way that was so easy to misunderstand? What's wrong with you? She wasn't technically wrong, but that's not the point here at all! What was she trying to do? Tank my already low favor into the Earth's crust? Shun, shut up! Just trust me and go with the flow here. You already got the date, so you can work on repairing your credibility then. Oh, now I get it. At this point, it seemed like there was no way to rebound when Rika's opinion of me was as low as the Mariana Trench. But what Kana was saying did have some merit. If we're going to do this, can you please stop trying to pick up my friends? Of course. I promise I'll never go out with her again for the rest of my life, by any means. Hey, are you trying to make me mad? And that's how I somehow got a date with the faded girl of my dreams. In what felt like no time at all, it was finally the day of our meeting. 
I was so happy. I got here three hours early. Right then, it was just about 9.30 a.m. After standing around and waiting for three hours, my legs were getting pretty tired. But if I complain now, I'll besmirch Kana's good name. As her brother, I have to do my best. Although, knowing her, she probably wasn't even really rooting for me. Today she was just complaining like, Why are you going out so early? She didn't even bother to see me out the door like she usually does. Oh, ye of little faith. But I thought Rika and I were just gonna have a quick meal or something. I didn't realize she was gonna ask me for the whole day. I mean... Thanks for waiting. As I was going down that rabbit hole, she suddenly called out to me. The vision that graced my eyes was of Rika wearing the same clothes she was wearing the other day, and... What a great look! You mean you and I together? Stop it, you're making me uncomfortable. I was only trying to compliment her outfit, though. Hearing any kind of compliment from a shallow mouth like yours only makes me feel worse. I promise, I'm not the superficial guy you think I am. And her clothes really did suit her. The reason I called out to you that day really was because I wanted to spend time with you. If you say so. And with that, she made sure to always walk a few paces ahead of me. It was like she was making it clear that she trusted me about as far as she could throw me. I messed up straight from the jump. How exactly was I supposed to mend my reputation like this? Uh, I really was serious, though. This is a surprise. You never call, Kana. Well, you're going on that date with Shuni tomorrow, right? It's true that tomorrow I am meeting that guy who tried to pick me up. But I don't care for shallow people who only care about outer appearances. I've been approached by more people than I can count, and anyone who would claim to be serious and then try to sink their claws into someone else the very next day is especially heinous. But I can't just forgive him for trying to go after a cute friend and teammate of mine like that. Um, I wanted to call you because I think there might be some kind of misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Well, part of it was definitely my fault, too. But I think you probably got the wrong idea somewhere. The wrong idea? What was she talking about? Shuni is actually my brother. What? So, it is true that the two of us were on a date. It was a date, but I guess it wasn't quite a date date. It was so sudden, I didn't know what to say. But, but, um, you mentioned a relationship where you were doing something uh, unmentionable. <laughs> yeah, he's my stepbrother. I, I suppose that made sense? You'll have to excuse him, he's kind of an idiot when it comes to girls. Or rather, he has no idea how to talk to them entirely or something. What's your point? Oh, well... I think he really is serious about you, though. I know it's a bit presumptuous of me to ask this, but try to give him the benefit of the doubt tomorrow, okay? Of course, I'll leave everything to your discretion. It was partially my fault for getting the wrong idea, so I decided to give him a day to prove himself. Well, I guess he's not like most of the guys who try to pick me up. It was certainly obvious that he didn't have any expertise around women, at least. But that still doesn't mean I'm going to assume he's serious about me. Uh, I can't believe I'd get to spend the entire day with Rika. I was so happy I thought I was going to cry. Just being next to her was making my heart pound. This really was love. But, hey, we're kind of just walking around, which is fine. But is there anywhere you want to go? No, not really. I guess we didn't really decide on that, huh? Okay. Then do you mind if we head somewhere I want to go? Uh, oh. I, I guess I don't mind. Yes! I spent all night researching and thinking of the perfect date route! Time to put it into action! Huh? Wait, where are my notes? Don't tell me I forgot them! Last night, Shun was up until late trying to come up with the perfect date for you, you know? And this morning, he left the house at 6 a.m. because he was so nervous. You agreed to nine, though, didn't you? I didn't know people still did that these days. Maybe Khan is right and he is serious, or that's what he's trying to say, at least. For some reason, the bad vibes I got from him are gone. No, stop it. It's fine. I rehearsed this. <clears throat> I guess he couldn't find his notes. Well then, ready to go? 
As Shun said that, he started walking in step with me. Oh, I guess he was taking care that I didn't walk into the street. The place I brought her to was another mall, different from the one where I went with Kana. I see. What is it? Oh, so this is what you were doing all last night? I mean, uh, um, so this is the date spot you were thinking of, huh? I thought I'd take her to a type of place that I already knew she enjoyed. It was the perfect choice. If she got bored, we could just go to a different store. I already came here not too long ago, though, but I guess I'm back here again. How? I mean, I know girls love shopping, but... I guess I don't really have any interest in shopping for anything besides the bare essentials, though. Not good! Well, he went to all the trouble of thinking this up for me. I get that. Hmm? Did you say something? No, it was nothing. So you go to the same high school as Khan, huh? Yes, I do. But you go to a different one, huh? Hmm. I guess you could say I don't have the same scholarly talent she does. <laughs> I see. Oh, she finally laughed. Her cold gaze finally relaxed a bit and changed to a friendly, easy-to-approach smile. At first, she regarded me with nothing but contempt, but now I feel like the distance between us is finally starting to close a bit. I'm touched. What are you looking at? Or not. How do I look? As soon as we went inside one of the stores, she came out with this. Just like I expected from a girl like her, she immediately began trying on clothes. Oh my god, it looks so good on you. Ah, I feel like my eyes are so blessed right now, or, or something like that. The girl I love is showing me a different side of herself, and my heart won't stop pounding! Okay, let me try on this one next. Sure. Are you sure you're okay with carrying everything? I'm the one who bought it all. Of course it's fine. Actually, I should be thanking you for deciding to show me those outfits in the first place. So consider us even. If you're sure. So that's what Kana's like at home, huh? When our parents first got married, she wasn't like that at all. But now she just lazes around all day. I guess that's her true personality coming out, huh? It's not like it's a bad thing or anything. <laughs> now I wish she'd show more of her true self in practice. Good luck, Shun. Okay, leave it to me. Ah, so close! Let me have a go. I'll take on your enemy this time. Good luck. Let him have it! It was starting to get dark now, and the sun's rays were shining down crimson red. I thought a guy like me wouldn't really enjoy a shopping mall trip, but the time flew by before I knew it. Wow. That was way more fun than I thought it'd be. Spending time with the person you love really was a magical experience. I didn't know how I was going to be able to pull myself away that night. Today, um... Hmm? Today I had a lot of fun. Thank you. Also, I'm really sorry about before. Oh, it's fine. I had a lot of fun too. Wait, what do you mean before? Was she talking about how she acted when I first came up to her? Nah, no matter how you look at it, that was all my fault, and she- Yeah, you know, I was pretty rude to you back then. You think so? Don't worry about it. Honestly, I feel like anyone else would react the same way you did. Yeah, but still. And you still gave me the benefit of the doubt, and decided to meet me out here in the first place. I really appreciate it. I've never even been out with another girl besides Khan, so just this was more than enough for me. I really hate shallow people. Uh, I thought she was finally warming up to me. Why do I feel like my heart's about to jump out and strangle me? But talking to you and getting to know you throughout the day, um, I feel like you made your feelings perfectly clear. What do you mean? You really do like me, don't you? I mean, of course that was true, but when she just came out and said it, I felt so embarrassed that I felt like my brain had just been sucker-punched! Uh, I came on too strong, didn't I? Yes, is what I thought I'd be saying right now. But this whole time, I never felt like that at all. Huh? Actually, I ended up enjoying myself more and more as the day went on. Like I said, I can't stand shallow people. But I really like earnest people who really devote themselves to everything they do. Rika turned her adorable eyes toward me. That alone was enough to make my heart start doing jumping jacks. 
And then? Shun, do you love me? Yes, of course. That much had never changed. I've never actually dated anyone before in my life. At that moment, Rika suddenly clutched my hand. But if you're okay with that, I wouldn't mind giving it a shot with you. I'd be happy to. Honestly, the thing I was most worried about was just making sure she'd have a good time. But I guess that mission was a complete success, and more. I managed to clear up our misunderstanding, and I even got her to like me. I can say with complete certainty that that moment was the happiest I'd ever felt in my entire life. I didn't expect you'd actually start going out with Rika after one date. The next day, Kana came out with that the moment she was about to leave for school. And as for your designated matchmaker, I think I deserve some thanks for my distinguished service. Yeah, definitely. Thanks for everything. Can I get you a Louis Vetton for your help? Oh, sorry. You don't have to go that far. But I really did feel so indebted to her that I was willing to get her a brand name product. Anyway, shouldn't you be leaving for school around now? I thought you always head out around this time. Oh yeah, about that. As I was about to explain, the doorbell rang. Huh? Rika? Good morning, Kana. Would you like to walk to school together? And the one standing outside the entrance was Rika, looking as cute as always. Seeing this, Kana was surprised. Well, well, well. Looks like things are really heating up between you two. But she just shrugged and grinned. <laughs>